Hi there, it's Shell. And Clint. Clint. <laughs> Hello everybody. Uh, Clint's in the background. I was going to add this one, um, this video to my um, Happy Mail video, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it separately. I was having a lot of issues with my camera, and I'm hoping I won't have it this time. I did not um, reset my iPad, but if it continues messing up, I will. So we're just going to kind of use some of the Happy Mail. I'm going to use one of these, maybe two of these, in our journal. And these are from Diane Taylor. Thank you, Diane. And then I'm going to use a bunch of goodies from Holly. So, and maybe some goodies, you know, and stuff that I've had in my container. <laughs> I'm still tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is only 8.15, but, you know, like I said, I was going to combine them, but some people don't like to watch Happy Meal videos or something, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and separate them. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put one in the um, first signature and one in the second signature. When I got these, I was thinking, oh man, I could put them inside a, um, the journal, you know, but yeah, they weren't going to work for me. It's going to be a little long, but I think I can still just cut it right here, and I think I'll do that. Let me find a good page, because I kind of want a sturdy page that, you know, it's not going to, you know, take up a lot of the room, like maybe this one. Yeah, maybe I'll have it kind of fold over. You can write here still. There's Sophia again. She's been up here kind of all morning. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this down about an inch. Sophia. Hi, Ann. Come here. Come on, Butterball. <laughs> oh, my hand, she got the string. She got the string. Okay, go see Daddy. Okay. Come on, Butterball. So she's going to visit with Daddy for a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, come on, honey. He's going to keep her uh, yeah. entertained for me. Hey. We're both considering a nap early. Oh, <laughs> Today man. is just exhausting. We're so tired. <laughs> so, what I want to do is glue this down. Glue down, Butterball. Like here. And then have like a flip open. And my thing froze again, so I'm going to go turn my <laughs> iPad off. <laughs> I told her to do that. She didn't listen. And restart it, and hopefully that will fix my issue. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't listen to you, do I, baby? Okay, guys, so... <laughs> We'll see if this actually works. I did shut down my iPad and rebooted it. And I'm thinking that's the issue because if I don't do that for a while, you know, it'll kind of mess up. So, but I use my old iPad so I can see you guys because this is what I see. I don't know if you guys have seen my uh, recording video, but I actually see myself, you know, on this as my camera's above me. And, uh... When I look over, it's like fro it's frozen, so my hands are like this for five minutes. Oh. <laughs> so, we'll see how this works. Um, but this is how I stay in frame most of the time, and when I'm not in frame, it's because I'm not looking at my iPad <laughs> to see if I'm in frame. Uh, they're not in the car, are they? No, I remember I had my boots. Then no, I don't. So anyways, I think I showed you guys cutting this off, and I just cut about an inch off, and it's just from an envelope from Diane. Thank you, Diane. Huh. And I think it's Diane. Oh, you know, I never know, because I think, is it Diane or Diana, but I'm pretty sure it's Diane. Uh, I'm going to glue this down, and I do have my glue here. And we are 
But what I'm going to do is, let me show you. I'm just going to glue like halfway. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty much, you know. I'm going to make a pocket on this one side, but I want it to be enough to kind of hold down what I want. And then right at the seam, on the inside of the seam, I'm going to put glue right there. That way it holds my pocket down really well. I'm going to kind of line it up and then we're just going to fold that over. This is kind of an idea I got from Lizette Areola and uh, she did a pocket pocket book <laughs> or I guess it was a junk journal. The pockets, I don't know. The junk, <laughs> junk journal of pockets or something, I don't know. I'm trying to think what it was called, you know. And uh, I remember seeing this, and when I got these, I was like, oh, I could use it that way. Bye, honey. I'm going to pick <laughs> Clint is heading outside to pick, pick a peck of peppers. <laughs> like that. Yeah, something like that. So, and I mean, that's pretty simple, you know, the, you can put something here. Of course, I guess I'd need a, uh, <laughs> need to glue that shut. You know, I really thought this through, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I've been watching Miss Gail. She's been recreating a lot of stuff that I sent her in a book. And most of the items, I mean, um, most of the items she's recreating are ones that I included in the book when I mailed it to her. And uh, some of them aren't, but man, the ideas she's showing are just so fun. And it's kind of fun to watch her kind of recreate my items. Like today she's doing one and it, you know, is really nothing like what I, how I created it. But her idea is so brilliant. I'm thinking, ah, I could have done that. <laughs> so it's given me new ideas. But my point was that when we have mistakes and stuff, you know how people like that. Because she's like, I'm not sure how this is done. And she'll... <laughs> Bless her heart, she'll work like 15 minutes before she kind of figures it out on some of them. And it just makes me laugh. And But she figures it out. And I think that's awesome to show that. That's what I was getting at. That's, you know, when you mess up. Like I said, I used to edit. I don't edit anymore just because it takes so much time. And actually, Gail's the one who inspired me no longer to edit. <laughs> Some people wish I did edit the cats out or something, but, you know, it's not going to happen. So, you know, I just saw this laying here, and I thought, you know, we're going to use that. We're going to use a lot of stuff that is, like, right in front of us to decorate these envelopes. So, I kind of want a straight cut here. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. So, but I have to tell you guys about next weekend, or next week, I am going up, we're going to go, my niece and I are going to go see my mother-in-law, Lida, the one who does all the tatting and stuff, but we're going to go up there after we stop and go to Miss Gail's meet and greet. So, I'm so excited because I get to go meet Gail. And it was so sweet because she actually uh, sent me a message, just a personal message, and asked me if, you know, she let me know about probably a month in advance and said, you know, is there any way you can meet us? And I've been working so hard on trying to get up there. And when my niece said she could go with me, you know, I was like, we can go, you know, visit my mother-in-law. I know she's missing us, so I'm going to call her later and let her know that we are heading up. And we'll be up there. We're going to be leaving here Thursday and returning home on Sunday. But I get to meet, you know, a couple of other, you know, another person while I'm up there. I get to meet Miss Sue. She's all excited. We get to meet her. So, and I'm hoping to do a bunch of crafting and, or thrift store shopping and things like that, you know, while we're down there. Clint can't go, but 
I think uh, my niece and I are going to have a blast. So I'm going to try to record some of that stuff for you, but we're going to try to get a few videos up before I go. So we'll see how that works. I'm just kind of debating on if I need, you know, to kind of frame this out or anything. I think I need some Distress Ink. I'm not, I'm never organized anymore, I tell ya. I'm still recovering, sorry, ignore my hair. <laughs> my gray hair. What color Distress Ink? I'll just use the one that's closest to me. It doesn't have to be the vintage photo. Let's use fossilized amber. And this is actually the oxide. You can kind of tell when you open it up. So, But yeah, I'm really excited to go up and visit. Spend some time, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with my niece. And we haven't really spent any time together since like Christmas. So, because when we're busy, we're just almost too busy for anything, you know. <clears throat> But I am thinking about something else all of a sudden. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited to go up and see Gail and get to meet her. And we've been talking on and off about me coming up. But it's so fun because she's having all kinds of people. Uh, she's having some people fly in from Canada to visit her and stuff. So we're going to have a big, a lot of fun up there. But I was thinking about this ribbon. It's kind of sideways, but I don't think that's going to matter. Yeah, and you remember when I said it didn't look like the yellows were producing? <laughs> I went around. Is that from all outside? Yeah. That's all from outside. This was, yeah, these were hanging off the edge. Look at that. These are what Clint just... We said, oh, we're not getting any more yellow squash. I wonder where, you know, where it all is. But what and made me look was this <laughs> thing. This is bigger than our cat. <laughs> we haven't been... And then one more. This was growing in the back. This one was actually growing in the back of the bed, so we didn't see it. <laughs> And I only have two peppers. Oh, oh, it must be the cold, you must think? must be the cold, yeah. The leaves are starting to turn yellow. Oh. So. Oh, my gosh. That's too funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not dying when I saw that thing. I bet you did. <laughs> when he walked in, I was like, uh. <laughs> oh, you guys. We never know. Well, like I said, we've been so exhausted this week, but yeah. You know, you can look right at a zucchini and not see it. I don't know what is, you know, I don't know if it just blends in so well that you can't see it or what, but but yeah, I'm so excited to go on our road trip with my niece and spend some time seeing my, hopefully I get to see my other niece. I haven't talked to him yet, so Clint's, my niece that I'm taking with me is actually my best friend's daughter. Oh, one of my, and the one I'm going to go see is actually my real niece, you know. Oh, you're going to get to see her? I hope so. I haven't told her yet that we're coming up, so I'm hoping I get to see Rochelle. I hope so. Yeah, because I would really love to see uh -huh. her. And Whew. But like I said, we're only staying one day at Mom's, so we'll see what happens and if we can fit it in, because, you know, it's going to be kind of short notice. So, anyways, I just had to share that with you guys. I'm so excited. I texted Gail when I was texting my niece, and I said, do you think you could go with me? And, uh, because I really wanted to have someone fun and young and, <laughs> you know, kind of visit family with and stuff. And she's like, oh, I think I might can. So, I texted Gail and said, my niece might can go. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I already you know did everything I need to do like rent a car and all that good stuff and so I'm gonna have to do some videos before I leave like four of them so good luck with that huh <laughs>
because I have to do daily videos too. But Clint said he'll help me. So he has a few ideas. But, you know, we have until Thursday morning to get videos done and stuff. Or I can even take them and, you know, upload them as I'm on the road. But I think it'd be faster from, from home with our mm -hmm. um, fiber optic. Because the videos don't take long to upload here. But anywhere else that has dial-up, not dial-up, but... Do places still DSL. have dial up? <laughs> I'm sure, but mainly DSL. Yeah, like DSL and stuff takes forever. So anyways, that's what's going on in our world. I was doing that on Thursday when I was kind of working with my hubby bubby. But man, we've just been, like I said, we've just been so super busy lately. Because, you know, when the weather gets cooler people get nervous about um, digging and getting stuff done before um, <clears throat> before winter comes and you know the snows are supposed to start like in Montana and stuff and maybe even upper Colorado some parts of Colorado are going to have but I think it's 11,000 and up so oh okay so we might be okay I'm hoping that we you know we have up, safe yeah. drives and all that good stuff that. But yeah, people are like, we got to get this done before the snows come. Because usually we're okay as long as we're back home by like October the 17th or something. So the middle of October. If we go up to Denver or anything, we try to be back. Because we have passes and stuff we have to go through. That they close a lot of the time. So, but yeah, we're just so excited. I'm excited. Uh, my niece is excited because she loves road trips, so. Yeah, we took her to Texas. To yeah, see we mom. took her took her to Texas with us to see mom, and she was an absolute blast. Oh, she was. <laughs> she just made the trip. You know, it was just enjoyable. And you know, when you have those tense moments when you're with family and stuff like that, she made them bearable. Yeah. She because was. she kind of distracted me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so looking forward to going. And we don't really get a lot of time to, you know, take breaks and stuff. Kind of like that. Or to go on vacations. But this was one I really wanted to do. And poor Clint, he was like, I know I'm going to, you know, we thought about flying, or I thought about flying up. But I just don't like to go anywhere by myself. I'm a very shy person. I was talking to a lady. <laughs> I got out and was talking to this lady. I think we talked for half an hour, and I said, uh, I think it was Thursday. She was our, one of our last locates. And I said, you know, I'm a very shy person. And she started laughing. And she said, yeah, I can tell that about you. <laughs> I don't think she believed me. But, yeah. You know, I just don't like to do things by myself. I invited my sister to go with me. But she said it doesn't sound like fun to her, so she wouldn't go. Yeah. <laughs> My peppers are not good. There's mold in there. Aww. Oh. Oh. I wonder but what happened. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Clint's updating me on some of his stuff in the house. Like I said, we haven't really been focusing on much. But I think I'm going to cut this. I'm going to try this and just see what I think. But yeah, it's just been been busy and stuff so it'll be kind of nice to kind of meet Gail and stuff we've like I said I've been following her I think since she started her channel so you know that'll be really fun to see her so I don't know what do you guys think hon what do you think that bow yeah I, think that's fine. I don't know it doesn't really doesn't go right. does it okay it that's kind of what I feel like. You know what? I can always come back and decorate it later. So, on here, you know, I think things would sit okay, but I feel like it might fall out. So, I might put, like, a piece of paper here. So, let's see what I have to put in here. Um, you know, I still have some papers that I was going, you know, I thought I might use. So maybe this one. Let me mark it. And let's see. 
I just mark it with my fingernail a lot of the time. <laughs> just put a fold in it. So yeah, I think it, you know, I think we'll have a fun time and hopefully Clint won't be super busy. Yeah. That actually, and I can just use the cutoff actually. You know, yeah, while I'm gone. Be, uh, um, Fridays usually aren't too horrible, but we are leaving on a Thursday, so we'll see. I know you'll make it, but, but I have to wait until she's done at work, so, which works just fine. So, anyways, just want to let you guys know that that's where I'll be next weekend. So, I'm just using, you know, just this one just to kind of add, you know, some different colors. My pears are going to be kind of sideways, but I don't think that matters on this paper. <laughs> I just don't want my things, you know, falling out of my um, envelope. So, I'm going to go ahead and I think what I'm going to do is glue like right here. Sorry, I didn't even realize it would make this much noise. What? Well, I'm trying. What are you doing? I can think of going and working on my stupid cup holder. Oh. I had to buy a new Dremel tool because mine decided to die. Die. And, and he needs that for stuff around the house. Plus I use it now. I, I, I invented a way to do the shingle covers with this. Oh yeah. yeah. A little bit easier. So I use my Dremel tool for that. But, <sighs> but yeah, he needed a Dremel tool. So I'm going to do it like this, I think. And that way I kind of have, you know, have it down and it's not going to, by gluing that one piece down, it's not going to uh, get caught up. Do I need to do that one? But yeah, I think my mother-in-law would be really happy to see us because... Every time I talk to her, she's like, I miss you guys so much. And she's only an hour from where I'm going. So, well, maybe two. But it's not bad. So that's good. But I can't stay very long. But overnight will give us time to get caught up for a little bit. So, yeah. So, I'm thinking about kind of decorating this. Um, a little bit. Maybe doing some kind type of collage again. On this fabric. Not fabric, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a pocket letter someone sent me. I was just seeing if it is, you know, if there's anything else I want to use in here. Because I never know what to do with them, so I use them if I can. Let me look over here and see what we have. Ooh, I have that cute little uh, paper clip. cute. Is that going to kind of bind it up? I think it'll be fine. That's really cute. I think I would like it better, though, if it was down further. So, we're going to make that work. <coughs> so, are any of you guys going to see to Gail's meet and greet? Let me know, because I think that'll be really fun for a lot of us. Um... I think I was going to use this, though, when I, in my other book. <laughs> Still looking just to see if I have anything else in my um, container over here. Hmm. <laughs> Clint's working in the, in the, uh, porch, which is where he works for his sanding and stuff. I bet he doesn't realize he's so loud. Can you guys hear him? Might not be horrible. Okay, so I don't really have a lot of cutoffs. So, that's kind of cute. Maybe I could make it like into a belly band or something. Because it would be like this. 
Let's try that. That'd be kind of cute. Ooh, and maybe this on top of it. Yeah. Let's glue that down. Put some <laughs> ink around it before I put too much glue. glue that down and make it into like a little belly band. That would be kind of cute. I like to have, you know, some ideas to put in, you know, the books and stuff. And sometimes things just come to me, you know, something I haven't, maybe haven't thought of before. So, and maybe that is really cute. Uh, I think I have, I know I have more of those flowers. Or those leaves I could use or maybe something like this I don't know I think I really want <clears throat> I'm gonna figure it out but I do want to put this on here sorry I didn't have you know like a huge I you know a huge plan today so but when I saw these I was thinking, oh, I really want to incorporate some envelopes into my journal. So, that's what I'm going to do. Come on, card. And, uh, <laughs> what you doing? Card has not been happy with Clint being gone so long. But he really would not be happy if, you know, Clint went with me on a trip. No. So. I'm just afraid he'd lose his mind. Yeah, he's very attached and we don't want him to get sick or anything like that you know so Clint can't really go with me let's see this is what our house sounds like, like when he's working on ink blenders. <laughs> you guys probably can't hear it as well as I can, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so that looks kind of nice. We'll come back there too. Let's go ahead and put in our other envelope. And we'll, we're going to do that a different way because I don't like to do, you know, two things identical. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I asked him to wait until we're done because I don't know if you guys can hear it as well as I can, but it's kind of loud. Can. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking, but... No, that's no big deal. Okay, oh. so I was thinking about another way to use these, and I was thinking, if you saw Gail again... <laughs> <laughs> she's one of my biggest inspirators inspirationers oh. I don't know anyway she created an envelope kind of tuck spot years ago that I use you know in some of my creations and it just kind of folds over like this and makes it into a little pocket so I really like that and what she did is she kind of showed that on yesterday's video I think so I thought you know that's a good idea I could use that and then this would be a pocket and then I think I'm gonna leave this side open for a tuck spot so we're gonna work on that and we'll see how far we get on this but yeah it's gonna wrap around the page which I think will be really fun I'm gonna look you know look at some of my papers I have wanted to look at this pack again somebody had said that there was a really bright color that would have looked really nice in this journal but I'm not sure which one she was talking about I can't remember who it was mm, that one would be pretty I think my lips got chapped yeah do your lips feel chapped Me? yeah yeah 
I think we either didn't drink enough or something. I kind of like this one, but I also like the, um, not that one. This one with the pumpkins. I think I'm going to go with this one. Again, this is called Sweater Weather from DCWV. If I remember, I'll put a link below, but I'm not sure I'll, re I'll remember. <laughs> so I'm trying to see, do I want to, I think I do just want to go ahead and glue that down. Yeah, I think I do. And then I'll put a fold in it because then my, you know, or bright orange won't show. Which you're going to see enough of it anyways because I do like to have a, uh, a, um, what am I thinking? Uh, guys, can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> well, I know I am. I could take a nap so easy. Yeah, just a few more minutes. <laughs> I won't let Clint take a nap without me, isn't that sad? Even though she doesn't sleep in the bedroom with me, I don't know what the big deal is. Well, you can go take a nap if you want. Oh, no. Sometimes I'll let him. <laughs> Boy, that didn't make me sound whipped. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. They know I'm kidding. These people know, know me. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. So let's kind of cut it like about right here. Oops. Darn, I, I tore it. <laughs> That's okay. We'll be fine, right? Ooh, that's like perfect. Okay. Yeah, I like that and I like the um, lace in there. I think that's kind of fun. Yeah, we try to take naps around the same time just because um, if I don't, then I'll sit up for a while and then right as I'm fixing to take a nap, Clint will yep. get up. And he makes a lot of noise. I can't Oh, sleep. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he doesn't mean to, but, you know, when he gets up, like if we're both laying down and I'm reading or something, and I think, oh, I'll take a nap around 1 o'clock or whatever, he will, uh, ooh, I, no, I shouldn't do that. <clears throat> He'll get up, and then the cats are all excited, and they're running around. Yeah. They're, they kind of, yeah. like, celebrate when Daddy gets up. <laughs> it is so funny. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this. Yeah, I think I thought about cutting open the envelope and you know putting another place for a tuck spot, but I don't think I'm going to just because this will give it more sturdiness if I don't. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, it's just. Oh, I tell you guys, but yeah, we're both so exhausted. But I'm hoping to get like the Happy Mail video up before I lay down. There's not a lot to that one. And like I said, I was going to combine the two. But my computer was making a big mess for my camera. I wasn't recording correctly. So... So that's fun. I like that. And then we'll fold it like this. So again, this is Gail's idea and she, um, I'm trying to think what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, she designed this when she was doing a, oh, you know what this paper is? No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just this paper, I think it was a napkin that was decoupaged on the, under this paper. Yep, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like, Clint says. He's so goofy. Did you get on my backpack? Uh, no, because we were so tired oh. and you said you'd get it later. So How does that look? I don't know. What do you guys think? You know, it doesn't look bad. And then I could just trim this off. That way I'd have bigger pockets. 
Yeah, let's do that. But yeah, she designed this a while back. I'm going to just fold it. And I love this idea. It's so fun. It's a little bit shy of how long I need it, but I think it'll be fine. Pretty sure that's what I did. I'm, it seems like I vaguely remember doing this last year. I could be wrong, but okay. And then that will glue down like that. that would be okay. <laughs> Doesn't quite reach the edge, but it all glued down on the envelope. Or maybe not. Yeah, it did. So, I can add a little something to this side. This side, it, or in the center, I don't really have to put glue, but it doesn't matter if I do or not. And then to cover this mistake up, I'm going to use... <laughs> Did you make another one? Oh, I, I lined it up wrong. Uh-oh. And so it was a little bit off. But I think I can just put this, and I think it will just add to the pocket. And if I go all the way up, it will look like it was intentional. They said it's not a mistake, it's a design element. It's a design element, so yeah. A chance off. for a design element. I don't know. That's what they used to say in... Um, a group that I was a knitter and they would always say there's no mistakes it's just a chance for a design opportunity or something like that they fit huh perfect huh Clint got some jeans at a yard sale yesterday and they're 501 Levi's and they said they were size 35 Dang, 35 but he only wears like a 32 yeah, 32, 33, 32, 33 and 501s. So, um, but they fit him perfect. Yeah, good. Yeah, so maybe they were like slim fit 35s or something. No, I don't know, but legs, you know, those are expensive jeans. I got them for a buck. For a dollar. Clint's like, I wonder how much they, because, I mean, even you can sell them on, you know, people in China and stuff, buy them. For outrageous amount of money. Yeah, I got a couple really well worn. Yeah, yeah, they like worn ones and stuff like that. But yeah, these are a dollar. Cost him a dollar. They probably haven't even been worn. They probably were washed once and that was it. I was wondering, well, they didn't fit like a 35 would fit for you. So they're probably mismarked or they were mismarked the wrong size or something. So they just never, never, worn. never wore them. But yeah, he's, he's a skinny thing. Most of the time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he gets a little bit of a belly, but he's never gotten up really to 33. And I keep telling him, don't get that size. And but I do. Anyway. He does, and then he complains because his pants fall down. Oh, <laughs> He said, I really should have listened to you. Yeah. Oh, well. You know, that's not ever going to happen. There ain't no fun in that sometimes, you know? Okay, let's put this on. And then we'll see about wrapping this video up so you guys don't have to. <laughs> then that, way I feel bad. that way we can both go take a nap. <laughs> oh, you guys, I tell you. I keep looking on the back just to make sure my um, thing is going the right way. So let me find my page that I want to use. <clears throat> this one's going to be so fun. I have so, so many goodies. I'm so excited. And then when I wake up from my nap, I'm going to call my mother-in-law yep, and let her know that we're coming up. So she doesn't mind, you know, last, oh. last minute kind of things. Sometimes, well, we used to go up and surprise her, so. Yeah, you have to tell them that story. Yeah, um, Clint, when we first, well, when we were working, we didn't have all this responsibility and stuff. 
once in a while, if it was slow or something, we could easily take off, you know. And Clint woke up, it was on a Friday morning, and Clint woke up and he says, you know, I really miss Dad. And I said, well, let's go visit him. <laughs> <laughs> called, called the company and we subbed out too. And Clint's like, do you think we can? I said, yeah, well, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. Because, I mean, we were like sitting at home, not doing nothing for a week because nobody was digging or anything. And Yeah, called the company we subbed out to and they were like, go. <laughs> so well, we didn't care. even tell them or anything. I think we called them. No, we didn't. To no. see what they were doing or yeah. something. But we didn't tell, you know, we were like, hi, Mom, what's going on? You know, make sure they're home, that kind of thing. And so when we pulled, this was when Clint's dad was alive. Because, you know, he lived with Dad pretty much his whole life. And he really missed him. And so we pulled up, and Dad was a cigarette smoker. And he was on the front porch smoking cigarettes. And he was talking to their neighbor. And the neighbor looked up, and she says, is that your son? And he's like... No. Oh, I don't think so, or some, yeah, like, nah, or whatever, and all of a sudden, we pulled up into the front yard, <laughs> and said, surprise, and mom was in the house, and he's yelling at her, Lida, come here, Lida, she comes running through the house, because she thought, you know, there was a horrible accident or something, but she came running to the house, or from the house, and just, pretty much jumped off the oh, porch yeah, and gave she, us hugs. <laughs> it was, was so sweet. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, we used to be able to could do that, you know, once in a while. I think that was the only time we ever actually surprised them. Yeah. That's one of our fondest memories because, you know, yeah. nobody knew we were coming and, you know, Clint just woke up and I said, well, let's go. <laughs> Very special. And that was when we, you know, really felt like being in a car you know, long distance and all that. Because now it's just not as easy, but we make it work once in a while. Yeah. So, you know what? I think I'm going to call this good for now. Kind of give me a chance to, you know, kind of rethink a few things and see what I want to do next. So, we did do have a um, pocket here. Let me show you how that's going to work. If I can find something that would fit in it. <coughs> I have scraps everywhere, but can I find one that's going to fit? No. I was just thinking, boy, that air is still on in the bedroom. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hot dog, I'm happy about that. We turn the air on at night in the bedroom still, and it's still on early. What's the temperature? 65. 65, so outside. So he'll be comfortable. But yeah, so this is just the negatives that I was punching all those leaves out of. And so that'll be really fun. Maybe I'll like make a, a journaling card or something out of maroon or a dark color. I think that'll be really fun. So we have this pocket. We have a belly band here. I still want to do, you know, some decorating and stuff there. And then we have the other pocket here. So this one's kind of fun, but there's a tuck spot. You could glue up this side, but your um, tag would be kind of small. Sophia's like, okay, Mama, you've had enough. <laughs> I mean, your tag would be about this. It might not be that small, so I might do that, but we'll see. And then I have a pocket here as well, and then on the other side, the same. So we're going to go ahead and call that done, call it a day. Like I said, we're going to try to get caught up on our rest, and I'm going to try to make a couple of more videos so that you guys aren't missing anything on Thursday through Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, whenever. And I guess we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.